Hey y'all, welcome to Cat's Hobby Corner. Hey y'all, it was a very um, windy storm that came through last night. I didn't get too much damage. Guys, our squash. Y'all know I planted two squash plants in here. They are doing really well. I come out almost every day to check for, um, to check for, um, what do you call it? To check for the squash beetles. And I captured a couple of them. Squash beetles, that is. But these two, there are two in this pot. They're doing good. And then there were two in this one, but I removed one of them. So, this is just one, one by itself. This leaf has a little damage, but. All right, we got. We got flowers. Oh, no, we got some squash. Check that out, guys. And that one over there, too. So, we got some squash coming. And this one, guys, looks like it's getting to the time when we can try to harvest it. Hopefully, we'll get a good amount of potatoes. We did decent with this harvest, this potato harvest. Guys, check out the amaryllis we bought outside. Look at there. The leaves have come back, and it's growing again. This was the uh, Valentine's Day gift Mr. K got for me. I told him that's the best thing to get for a person who likes growing things give them something that grows guys check out mama blackberry y'all know we did a whole reset and revamp on her Aiden, look at all this new growth down here check out all that new growth black eyed peas are doing good Check that out, guys. Now that's that's ready to harvest, actually. Might need to think about coming out here and grabbing that one. But as y'all can see, we've got flowers coming on our black eyed peas. More flowers. Got a little lot of uh, babies. Kentucky Wonders are doing good. Look at there. Got a nice group of uh, green beans going. I did a harvest the other day. So we definitely need to get back out here and harvest some more. I'll check out our black eyed peas, guys. Some good black eyed peas. It's a good little spot for them. Our okra is blooming. And we harvested our first. Hey, Sammy. We harvested our first okra yesterday. And we got a little bit more okra ready to harvest today. Very nice flowers. And we've got a few more strawberries ready to harvest. Yeah, I see some red under there. So we'll need to come and harvest these turnip greens is, has gotten a bit hot out here and so we did a harvest but I'm letting these go to seed so I can get some um, some turnip green seeds and I showed y'all the video last night where the tomatoes had fallen over so we resecured them and they seem to be doing okay we are doing this stocking method with our tomatoes just to see if it if it makes it easier and better to um, put them in socks if that will keep the worms off of them. So we'll have to wait and see how this process goes. But for now, everybody seems to be swelling and getting bigger. And... Um, not too much damage from falling all over last night, but I think we've got them staked up pretty good to stay stationary. Last but not least, 
our onions. Y'all know the garlic, we just left it in here in the front, so we're not even going to worry about it. But our onions back here are growing and getting thick, and I really, I really want to see how big they get. A friend of mine, she has um, some onions, and hers look like aloe vera leaves. I mean, they're thick, big, thick leaves, so I'm hoping to get these to grow that big but I need to do a little bit more research considering these are bunching I don't know if they actually can get that big but I'm hoping that they will we got a little pet project going I think we're going to extend the pond it's a lot of work but I think we want to get a bigger more water sounds and just a bigger space so we'll be working on this pet project of um, expanding the water pond and I love this new um, water fountain we found um, the ones that we've had in the past they sit down in the bottom of the pond so when there's any kind of algae or leaf or debris down there it gets sucked in and although we've tried using mesh and other bottles to keep the the, um, the debris from the pump it, it doesn't it only works for a short amount of time but this one is really neat because the pump is actually right underneath the floating apparatus so it can float all around the pond and it won't get clogged up because it's not down with the debris so that's the other reason why we're geeked and wanting to <laughs> dig a bigger hole at this point because um just excited to to uh create and develop this little area so we'll see we'll come back and, and let y'all know how it's doing uh, other than that everything else seems to be doing fine so thanks for watching hey guys thanks for visiting cat's hobby corner be sure to hit the like and the subscribe button so you'll get the content as we put up new videos the channel's growing, and it's all because of you. Thanks again.